do you think a woman that has a questionable past deserves her dream man? Um, me realistically, I'm gonna just say it's a double standard. So, um, nowadays people are willing to forgive a man. The man could be sat there and be ran through to the to the T. Wait, what? Mm -hmm. The definition yep. of ran through, like find <laughs> ran through as a man. Ran no, through is just basically as like just woman. sleeping with anything with a hole in a leg okay. and legs. No. All right, like, we get ran through though. We we okay. do the runner. We ran. Okay. So. All right. When know. it comes to a woman, it's like that value depreciates because of the simple fact that I'm like, oh, well, as a woman, you should have, uh, exactly. you, you should value yourself. Oh, you shouldn't do that. Or, you know, it's it's already that standard there. So even if she had a little fun here and there, you know, she's going to be paying for it a little bit, even if she wasn't like, well, put on the spot. Booty. Men don't get ran through, by the way. They run through. Okay. Yeah. So, you know. It's different. Worse. Yeah. Well, you, so you mentioned, okay, so you're acknowledging that there's a double so standard. So do you, do you still think... Given the fact that you acknowledge that there's this double standard, it seems to me like you agree with... Do you agree with that double standard? I don't, but it's just the reality of okay. it. Okay. So, do you think women with questionable past still deserve their dream, man? I just feel like, realistically, March. they're going to be judged, period. So, it's yeah. just like, I can't even say yeah or no. It's just more one of those things that where I'm going to just be like, hey, if you get it, you get it. If you Possibly. don't, you don't. <laughs> it's just one of those things to where yeah. if you if you done got the dude to suck... Like, if you done suck this dude into getting with you, then hey. Baby, you won. Like, it is just, it is what it is. <laughs> okay. Um, if, if you had, um, let's say you were a bank and you lended out money, right? And um, people wanted to go ahead and borrow money from you, but they had really credit, shitty credit scores. Would you lend them the money? Ain't no banks out here lending nobody money. I'm sorry. It's just what it is. Okay, this is so a hypothetical, no. so hypothetical no. question. No, if you had horrible credit, because that's what the world lives on, credit. You so so, so no. clearly the person doesn't get deserve to get their dream loan because they made bad financial decisions, right? I mean... <laughs> he got you. There's ways around it's, everything. Like I said, it's a loophole <laughs> to everything. So at this point, like if I said, you're going to put it that way, yes, of course you're not going to get money. So you, <laughs> you're not going to get a second chance. L, just hold the L. I'm going to just hold Countries the L. Countries and this is two <laughs> L's. I'm going to just hold the L at this point. I feel like we're speaking about money, but when you talk about someone's dream man, what is your dream man? Your dream man does exactly. not have to be saying. perfect. It's different from everybody. You can everybody. find your dream man yeah. walking on the street, and as long as he has two things, you're good. Mm -hmm. So in everyone's mind right now, you're thinking of the perfect man. A dream man doesn't have to be the perfect man. You can be a whore, and as long as you find a man who allows you to be a whore, you're happy because that's your dream man. Not so really. yes, yes, you are. Not if that's really. the life you want to go through, that's your life. And I would say that's that. I, the reason why I disagree with that is whores tend to have some of the higher standards in men because they've had sex with so many different men, mm -hmm. and they know what's out there and they've experienced it. Mm -hmm. They tend to have higher standards and want a guy that's top of the line. But what they don't realize. But is, have you messed with whores to know what their dream man is? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Hell yeah! And does that devalue your value? No, nah, nigga. As a, a man, girl, a girl being uh, promiscuous or a man you being having sex with whores? No, no, not at all. So men can have sex with multiple women, and it doesn't do anything to their value. Mm -hmm. I would argue it increases your value, if anything. Wow. In what way? Why? That's in insane. Eyes of whom? In what way? <laughs> That's insane. It doesn't. It doesn't increase the value. I feel like at if all. you meet your dream you woman or the idea of your dream me, woman, like, and heck? you let her oh. know your body count, she would definitely walk away from you. I think so. Yeah, I know so. Yes, I know definitely. So. Okay, let's say your guy right now. You're engaged. Mm -hmm. He comes clean you. I've had sex with 75 women. He what? I'm sorry. Let's he say comes he comes clean you. He says mm -hmm. I've had sex with 75 to 100 girls. Mm -hmm. Are you gonna walk away from that engagement? Well, that conversation would have to be hold had on. before hold the on. engagement. Okay, I on. use my brain, not okay. my feelings. But you, you think about it, right? You contemplate <laughs> it. That question would never come. But after I'm saying hypothetically. Engagement. Let's say he sorry. told you this. Hey, I'm coming clean. I'm sorry, but I've had sex with 75 to 100 girls, right? Right now. Yeah. Yes. Tomorrow, uh, he tells you this. Come on. Six okay, months. you think about it. Cool. Six, Fair six enough. Months. She yeah. think about it. Now let's flip it. You go to him and you tell him, I got 75 to 100 bodies. You think he's sticking around? He gone. Nobody is sticking around after so seven. No, that that, you, that, that on, amount of body counts. I'm you, sorry. Do, you not, do I need to rewind the tape? Maybe yes. you do. Literally, <laughs> okay, I asked you. He yeah. asked you tomorrow and says, I have 75 to 100 bodies. Right. You thought about it. Well, you said, Damn, you said what hubby. am I going to do? You said fiance. And I'm telling you, the type of woman I am, that conversation would have been had before that. So that's kind I'm of like. I'm giving you a hypothetical. Not fair. I'm giving you a hypothetical. you. Okay. okay. He comes to you and says, I got 75 to 100. Mm -hmm. You're thinking about it. Mm -hmm. You're thinking, okay, is this really that big of a deal to throw off this engagement for this? However, mm -hmm. I'm telling you, if you went to him and you told him, I got 100 bodies, mm -hmm. he's probably going to leave you. 
the man That's I have, the difference. No one is a general so role. You have to earn your dream part. If you don't have the dream, you don't deserve it. You didn't do what it takes to get it. It's your fault. What's that? Do it again, Chris. What do you say? Girls. Girls, when someone's talking, please don't talk over anything. Just... Oh my god, it's time. Uh... No, okay, no one deserves anyone. You have to earn your dream partner. Why is it not playing? It should be playing. I don't know. No one deserves uh, anyone. Go. You have to earn your dream partner. If you don't have the dream, you don't deserve it. Mm -hmm. You didn't do what it takes to get it. It's your fault. Okay. Right. Damn. Fair, fair enough. Agree. Real. Yeah. That's fair enough. such thing as yeah. luck. I feel like yeah. the... I feel like I am the best person to answer Keeping this question, and only because of you? no one deserves anyone. The reason why you I have say to this earn because your like, dream as far as, like, partner. Perspective, if you don't have the dream, mm -hmm. you don't deserve you. it. I'm gonna just be real. You didn't Let's do what like, it takes to get it. I started it's having your sex fault. Like 15. Mm -hmm. So like my body count now I'm 22. So it's just like yeah I'm over that. Like you're gonna need at least an extra hand. Mm -hmm. Now my body. But let's be honest here. Who actually tells a person that they meet for the first time their body count? Nobody. The real, the real body count. Nobody does that. Nobody does I that. I do. I don't. Nobody does. Nigga. And if they do, they lie. My, my yes. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. At the end of the day, yeah, when, we, when it comes to me, that. I'm just so raw I, with I this. Like, truth. I'm going to just tell you what it well, is. Hold on, hold on. You guys are, do you guys not see you're all proving my point? Women lie by body counts. They don't, you know, you would think about it if he told you I got 100, but if we switched it around, he probably wouldn't stay with you. The, the reality is that, like, our values aren't the same. Mm -hmm. Of course not. But you're trying to, like, you guys, she's trying to equate a ran through man to, like, a ran through woman as if it's the same. Well, she ad not. admitted that it's a double standard, but she didn't like that it was a double standard. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't know. That's a touchy subject. Because I just feel like men think they can do whatever they want because they're created to do so, which I disagree. I mm -hmm. do feel like your value will decrease. I feel like Because definitely. of the amount of women you've been with. I'm well, sorry. Well, your own answer proves that it doesn't sorry. decrease. I just feel you like at the end of You would know because, because if... If he had, if he told you I have a hundred bodies, you would at least think about it. If you told him you had hundred bodies, it's questionable. Yes, it's okay, like well, but you think about it. But, why you didn't tell me that earlier? Okay, <laughs> you get what I'm saying. But you're willing to have a conversation. I'm telling yeah, you, if you told him you had a hundred, he'd mm -hmm. be gone. Today's sponsor is Be Naked. After 30, your testosterone drops by two percent every year. Yeah, that's right. While you're out here scrolling TikTok, your masculinity is packing his bags, but you don't have to be that guy. Step up with Naked Organs. This ain't no soy boy supplement. This is straight up 100% bison organs, liver, kidney, heart. The stuff men have been using for centuries to stay sharp, strong, and keep their testosterone sky high. Forget your vegan pea protein, quinoa, or whatever weak sauce they're pushing. This is primal power, packed with B12, iron, and zinc. Real nutrients that your body needs to stay jacked and ready to dominate. Go to BeNaked.com, use code FRESH, and get 50% off. Keep your masculinity in check, guys. Code word FRESH. BeNaked.com. Use code FRESH for 15% off. Support them, support us. I don't think so. You know I'm going to just be realistic. Hold Honestly, up, like, the yes, man they I will have, be, they, I don't think so. Be. Let's call him right now. Tell him, okay. tell him on the phone. Where's my phone? You're on your bodies. Where's my phone? Let's do it. Bring your phone, he, ladies. He definitely would be like, Bring her oh, phone, shit. ladies. <laughs> let, let him know. Well, he's Listen. not going to leave me because of Listen, that, though. I, I care about you so much, but I got to be honest here, baby. I got 100 <laughs> niggas in my... <laughs> okay, like, does he know, does he know you're on the show? Does he yeah, know you're on the yeah, right he now? knows I'm on the podcast. Yeah, right he's probably watching it. Is so. he watching? Yeah, he is watching. Yeah, he's he watching. watching. All right, if he's watching it, that's why she's so confident. <laughs> 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 okay. Wait, so, so what is your body count? Seven. Hundred. Seven. Wow. You actually seven met period. someone who hasn't had seven hundred. I don't know who you've been sleeping with, but I have seven. <laughs> why not? Why not just get? If if body count doesn't matter, why not just bang anyone you want? Because I'm in a relationship. No, I remember before that. And I also said in the beginning that I have a good head on my shoulders and I value myself as a woman. Okay. So, 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 okay, so you have some temperance, which may have, makes you have a good head on your shoulders. I have some what? Temperance. 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 temperance? Sorry. Meaning like, that word. like modesty, you know, like modesty. You, you know how to like <laughs> yeah. be chill and not be. You're making the argument mm -hmm. that body count doesn't matter like that. However, or, or you're, you're actually, yeah, you're making the argument that body count doesn't matter like that, but in your own behaviors and actions, it does matter because you've exercised some sexual temperance. He got you. He just didn't get he, me anywhere. He, just he got me. me. <laughs> I just think maybe you can rephrase the question and slow it down a little bit so I can understand. That's all I'm asking. Sorry. Okay. We got you. That's fine. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Um, I'm going to just be real. Okay. So we're going to just 
I'm going to just say that nowadays, people counting how many bodies. It doesn't matter. It depends on what the person is. You don't know what a person is willing to deal with until Uh, you talk to them and tell them what it is. Exactly. No, no, no. But we're telling you for a guy, if you're going to tell him your body count and it's relatively high, even like 10 might be high for a guy, um, you don't know how he's going to react. But we can tell you off rip, his natural reaction is like, damn, ew. Like 10 plus bodies, this is kind of like, I don't know. But you agree right. that yeah. that's very double standard, too, right? It, it, is. No, it really right? is. That's yeah. what yeah. I'm trying and, to say. And, and, and my thing is, I just find it funny that you guys think, because uh, I'll give you guys my take on it. I don't think women that have questionable past deserve a good man at all. I don't even think I oh. deserve boyfriends, really. Um, How oh, dare why? you? Why? And, and the reason why is because they basically, does a homeless man deserve a bad bitch? Why is he homeless? Hold on. Here's the question. Does a homeless man deserve a bad bitch? Yes or no? I mean, you get what you deserve, A model. Right? Does a he model? deserve her? Yeah. I mean, why not? I mean... Uh, if he treats her right. I'm going to say no. Yeah. Yeah. It's the truth. I mean... Well, at the, at homeless yeah. dude. Does I'm he deserve a bad no. bitch? No, IG model hot. She has... Okay, no. She, what about yeah. you? I don't think looks define anything. Like, that's Sorry. Extreme, it's a no. It's a, I mean, it just flat out is a no. I didn't even mention looks here. I'm gonna just you say it's a no because I'm talking about the man. You said hot though. But that's how men measure value. He's homeless. Okay. But he's homeless. He's Does he deserve right. a bad Maybe bitch? He's good looking though. Yes or no? I think everyone no. deserves a chance. It's a no. Wait, so, <laughs> it's wait a, a minute. And it's the reason. Wait. So you know what? Be the home, homeless man then. It's and a no because of some effect of the matter. Like, like, change. Like Honestly, like right now so the way society is going. No, no, no. Take him for how he is. He's homeless. Okay. You gonna do that? And if he can show me love and give me what I need as a woman, yes, I would. I would. Stop the cat. I don't think, think there's any way. What about you? Does a homeless dude deserve a bad bitch? If he treats her right, thank you. Come on, oh, oh. man. <laughs> do you think a, ho- a, a, a bad bitch is even gonna give him a chance to treat her right as you claim? I mean, if she likes his humor. Nope. <laughs> what about you? No. <laughs> no, she doesn't deserve a bad. A bad no. A bad nope. Bitch. Okay, why not? Because you deserve, like, I guess you attract what you are. I mean, if you are a model, why would you go for something less than that? Okay. What yeah. about you? What do you think? Um, Does a, a homeless dude deserve a bad bitch? I'm going to just say no, because of the simple no. fact that if the shoe was on the other foot, he want to take the homeless chick. So it's just like one of those things, like she yeah, said, you attract no, what you are. He would, he would if she was hot enough, man. Yeah, I mean, most are It, it really wrong. isn't, exactly. because of the simple fact of the matter, chicks don't, chicks date up. They don't typically date down. Dudes will like fuck yeah. a chick that's like you, you mediocre. Just, so you just disproved your own theory just now. Yeah. What? What you mean? By saying women date up and men date down, that means that a man will take a girl that's homeless. Yes, he would. I mean, I guess, but realistically, if that um, is, it's true. That, <laughs> they would. Yeah, yeah, take that. Dude would take whatever. Like I said, dudes are like simple. Women are complicated. <laughs> <laughs> so annoying. All right. Uh, what about you? Do you think a a, a model deserves a, or a homeless dude deserves a, a bad? I mean, it depends how homeless he is. If he's homeless because of a situation now, like if, for example, in Miami, rent is so high and they got evicted. But he's a college student and all exactly. that, why is he and he's homeless? working his way up. <laughs> then, yeah, why not? Bro, why but that was the most. Like... What? Yo, you the girls on this that. panel are what? fucking. What? You guys don't want to stand on nothing. No, 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 no. It's fine. I, I'll say. I, I look, look, look. They're trying to be politically correct. They're on a podcast. They don't want to come off offensive. Don't worry. I'll fucking say it for you. Everything is earned. None of you at the table and no chick that is actually attractive and can attract a billionaire or a millionaire or get a famous dude is going to sit there and settle for a fucking homeless guy. Okay? Right. There's levels to everything and you need to be able to earn your value. I say all this to bring it back to the main topic I had. I think girls that are promiscuous, that have bad past, etc., don't deserve a good man. And the reason why is because you've effectively destroyed your value. You've hurt yourself. Mm-hmm. And I know by you being promiscuous and doing stupid shit, you're going to come with a lot of trauma and issues that I'm going to have to now deal with. Why the fuck am I going to work myself to get in shape, reach some socioeconomic status, make some good money, be able to take care of a woman to bring in? Just like why would an attractive woman who has everything going for her commit to a fucking homeless guy that can't provide her resources? It's the same situation. A f- is the same thing as a homeless man. You guys don't want brokies that don't have a house? We don't want Same thing. We might have sex with them, right? But oh, we're not going to oh, take yeah. them seriously. You might have a friend that's a homeless guy, but you ain't going to seriously date him. True. So I just find it funny how all of you guys are sitting here saying, oh, everyone deserves a chance. Reform, blah, blah, blah. No, it's not true. It's a lie. There's a reason why they had that saying, you can't turn a hoe into a housewife. The reason why is because they've known since back then 
when girls become promiscuous and they've been being hosts for a long time, it's very difficult for them to reform. It's almost damn near impossible yeah. because the trauma that comes from being right negatively impacts your ability to build a fruitful relationship with other men.